Remember the part when Montgomery Jones forgets to fill the rockets on his rocket tray with fuel and almost goes splat? I guess he was very lucky to have a parachute and that magical wind to help him out. But have you ever wondered how rockets actually work? It's all to do with Sir Isaac Newton's third law of motion, which states that if you push on an object in one direction, expect to be pushed back in the opposite direction with the same force. Now, I wouldn't try to prove this law with your brother or sister because if you push them in one direction, expect to be pushed back at least twice as hard in the opposite direction. But how is Newton's third law responsible for making rockets fly? You see, all rockets have something in common. They produce large quantities of gas, which is forced out of the back of the rocket through a small nozzle. This high-pressure gas exits the rocket with an incredible force and results in an equal and opposite force, which is exerted on the rocket. It is this equal and opposite force which pushes the rocket skyward. The high-pressure gas produced by the rocket is made by using powerful fuels. The first rockets, made in China over 800 years ago, used gunpowder as the rocket fuel. But since then, even more powerful fuels have been developed that generate enough force to send rockets into space. <laughs>